Today, we went to the highest rated sneaker store in Hollywood, California, where they had absolutely insane amounts of heat. They had the Drake sneakers, they had the new Powerpuff Girl sneakers, and they had sneakers that nobody else had. Watch the entire video because it gets lit today. All right, boys, now we are on Hollywood Boulevard. That is right, because there was a dope sneaker store right up here that I always go to. It's honestly crazy. I've been living in Hollywood for the past six months, and I haven't really gotten a chance to really show you guys, but we're literally on Hollywood Boulevard. Like, they literally have the Grammys and premieres for movies and everything right here. Welcome to Hollywood, Legit Nation. Legit Nation, welcome to Hollywood. This right here is a super cool shopping center super futuristic and it's right outside of Hollywood Boulevard now they got all the Hollywood stuff everywhere and this is super cool because they got a sneaker resale store that they got some good stuff today but they also got a shoe palace and a Foot Locker here so the Hollywood sign is literally right there guys and then the shoe palace is right over here right there is the shoe palace so we're gonna see if they got any heat in there shoe palace Hollywood baby exclusive look inside they got a whole wall dedicated to just New Balances. I've been sleeping on New Balances, boys, but it's pretty cool because you can just still buy them for retail, and these are like $120, so not bad, but those have been popping for a while, the 550s, but also, I feel like these weird, like, runner sneakers have been really popping right lately. I don't know. New Balances is, uh, it's too white for me, man. I'm, I'm, I don't know if a Mexican can pull off New Balances. You know what I mean? The whole Jordan wall, bro, the whole Jordan setup is absolutely so sick. Jump man up there with all the jerseys. So fire. A lot of heat still sitting, man. The Royal Ones, bro. This is a banger of a shoe. If only they didn't put suede on it, man. Can't believe these are still sitting months later. It looks like we got some 14s up here. I haven't seen 14s in a while, but the Jordan 14, man. What do you guys think of these right here? I absolutely cannot believe that the Fear 3s are still sitting in here, man. When these released a couple years ago, they were reselling for a lot of money. Like, I think this is a banger shoe, but like, to me, I'm like, even retail, $209, I'm like, do I really want to pay that for a shoe that I'm only gonna wear like with a couple things because that orange is really hard to match with but the fear pack was popping back in the day man got some maroon Jordan 5s in here these were a banger shoe too before I was in the sneaker game like when I was really young this shoe would have been got long gone man these are cool too man I mean they kind of the wheat 13s they kind of look a little gold colorway but I don't know man 13s are super comfortable but I guess they're too chunky 12s are fire too it's just crazy that there is literally this much heat still sitting in retail stores now man i feel like everything was like selling off shelves but you can almost get every single jordan number in here now cardinal sevens dude even this one surprised me that this is still in here this has been out for like dude i want to say like six months now just sitting in here dude like six months this has just been chilling in here i think these threes just dropped in this like dallas cowboy colorway like a navy air jordan three these are pretty sick for two hundred dollars Pretty sick, man. These are dope, but I have too many threes already, and that'd be hard to match with. We got some more stuff in here, some more heat. The fact that Panda's just sitting here now, man, when I paid $400 for my pair, bro, and now you can come into any shoe palace, any Foot Locker, and buy them for $115, bro. I paid $400 for these guys. These are fire, too. Cool summer shoe. I like the color. Just a massive wall for Nike, bro. Just so much Nike. Every type of LeBron, like old school LeBron's retro wing. You can just get so much now, man. So much stuff is available now. Hey, Legit Nation, and don't sleep on Shoe Palace's clothing either, man. Their clothing is absolutely fire. That's one thing. I buy my clothes from here sometimes, guys, and the compliments I get are insane. Like, the shirts really do be dripping, bro. Like, they have collabed with, like, some old school stuff, some vintage stuff, and people always give me compliments on that. Yo, so much sitting. The satins are still out here, y'all. The satins are just chilling out here, man. Crazy, 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 crazy. Quick peep of the girl section real quick. You like those? The 3M? They're like 3M purple. Yeah. I don't like the low top. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Wild, y'all. This is the only sneaker store that you get a view of the freaking Hollywood sign right out there. Can you see the Hollywood sign? Can y'all see it? Like right up there. Boom. Boys, look at this little mannequin outside of Shoe Palace. That is so hilarious. I've never seen I've never seen a mini mannequin. That's hilarious. All right, so they got some heat. I'm sorry about the music. It's bumping in there. It was popping in there, it was bro. Loud. Whoever is the DJ of Shoe Palace you should DJ at the club, because that was lit in there. Anyways, right now, we're going to walk to uh, Foot Locker, and we'll keep it going. 
All right, and we are back on the boulevard because the Foot Locker is right over here. Very, very, very hectic over here all the time. It's crazy, man. Bunch of like, it's crazy over here. It's crazy. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, baby. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And right here is the Hollywood Foot Locker. Boom, hopefully they let us film in here, man. It's crazy. This spot is huge in here, y'all. I wonder if they have anything different than Shoe Palace had. I didn't see these 13s over there. These like white and, and, and gray 13s. Let's see what else they got. Look at how crazy it is in here, man. This place is dope, dude. It's super big. Look at the LeBron photo. That is fire, dude. The LeBron James artwork is insane. That is so sick. No, my favorite sneaker ever, bro. They're just chilling in here, dude. The freaking gratitudes, man. These are literally my favorite shoe of all time. $230. I think this was a great release, but you know, Nike's just pushing out so many, so many now that anybody can just grab whatever they want. These LeBrons get crazier and crazier, man. Personal opinion, LeBrons have the best design out of every single basketball shoe. Look at this. Look at this retro, bro. Like, what is this? Welcome to the jungle? Dude, that is crazy. The chrome finish will flake off with use over time. That is insane, dude. The prints are next level for sure. My favorite basketball sneaker right now, though, definitely the Jaws. First is Kobe, second is probably the Jaws, but as far as design, I'm going LeBron's all day. Yo, what is this? GT Jump? It has like special technology in there that helps you jump higher or something? Dude, that's wild. Ooh, they got some fuego in here. Your boy would totally wear this right now, dude. This store is dope. And look at the front. The front is Hollywood. Hollywood sign over here. Okay, as far as Nike, but I, I completely forgot about LaMelo, bro. LaMelo shoes are going crazy. Yo, look at these right here, dude. Look at that. They're like all gold shiny. This is my type of shoe right here, dude. Look at the flavor on this thing, dude. This just, dude, it just screams freaking greatness, man. The Dexter Laboratories. The Dexter Laboratory, I think these are the ones, right? I think these are the, I'm pretty sure these are the Dexter Lab. Oh, no, 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 no. These are maybe the Rick and Morty's? I don't know. These are the Dexter's Laboratories, dude. These are insane. Mellow Dexter's Laboratory. Crazy design on a sneaker, dude. Mellow has the craziest designs of all time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a massive fan of Puma, but I wish Puma would send me a pair of these. You know, Curry, Curry's got that like dad swagger to it, you know what I mean? Like that freaking, I've already made it, dad. I've worked in an office for the past 35 years, dad. That's the type of dad that's wearing this on the weekends to play ball. All right, boys, now are you ready for some real heat? Going into courtside kicks over here, they got a lot of dope stuff and they got something special that I wanna show you guys. Always so many different dunks, man. Honestly, this store has gotta be the store that has like the most dunks out of everybody. Like, look at the <laughs> insane amount of dunks they have. Like every single dunk, the dunk wall, every single dunk that you guys can imagine is definitely gonna be out here. And the Jordan ones for days, bro. Literally for days. All kinds of Air Jordan ones, but the amount of dunks, look at that. There's three walls dedicated to Nike dunks. And then over here, they got a bunch of different heat. I haven't seen these in person yet, man. The Powerpuff Girl Nike SBs. Dang, these things are crazy in person. I thought that they were like a suede material. Look at that, they got Blossom's Eye on the back, or what is it, Buttercup? Bubbles, bubbles, the inside is all sweeted up. That's crazy, $450 in here. Powerpuff Girl Nike SBs. My favorite part about courtside kicks is that they have a giant used wall in the back and you never know what is gonna be on that wall. It's different every time. So they got great discounts on like all of the used sneakers. Let's see if I can find anything in my size today. Ooh, the Kobe Grinches over here, okay. In the used section. Let me see what we can get these for. $700 size 10 and a half. This is good because I think they go for like 1200 brand new, but honestly, honestly, after a couple wears, they're gonna look like this. So you're saving yourself 500 by getting these. They got like two pairs in here. I don't think it's the same. I don't think it's the same shoe. I think this one is 650 and it's a size nine. Man, I could squeeze my foot a little bit. I could squeeze my foot a little bit for these. And then I typically find shoes here that I'm not gonna find anywhere else. Like, I don't think I've seen any other sneaker store that carries the Bad Bunnies, but this is a banger shoe right here. I had to get it when it dropped. And this is the other Bad Bunny right here. You know, as a Latino, we had to get the Bad Bunnies, baby. I like what Adidas is doing. I thought it was gonna be like the next Yeezy, but uh, not exactly yet. But we'll see, maybe when they come out with some more dope designs. Y'all, I've been looking at this shoe for a while. The Nocta 
the Nocta Nike collab in the white colorway. These are Drake sneakers right here, and they have one pair left, guys. And they're in my size, and they're not even a bad price. These are $260. What do you think, babe? What do you think? Yeah. White Noctas, these are fire. What'd you say? Those are not. It. Okay, here's the thing, though. They I feel like. Gadgets. They look like gadgets, but these are like the new Yeezys though. Low key guys, these are like the new Yeezys. Am I right or am I wrong? This is like the fans are not gonna hate. The fans are gonna love these, bro. These are like Drake's take on sneakers. This is like the easy ten and a half, dude. This is my size. Only two hundred and sixty dollars. Not bad at all. Yo, these are actually fire, legit nation. I'm not gonna lie, guys. They look pretty dope on the feet too. I'm not gonna lie. What do you think, bro? What do you think on the feet? Dude, look at them on the feet, bro. They look pretty fire with the white shirt and everything. They look it's weird because they they don't look like you know I feel like Adidas gives kind of like a lazy look. This kind of looks like athletic almost. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't really know what I'm saying right now, but they look more. Yeah, they do look way better on feet, dude. I don't know, man. I'm digging them, dude. I'm digging them. Actually, I gotta cop something for the vlog today. So, <sighs> what do you think? You don't like them? No. You don't like it, but you don't like anything that I buy, really. You don't like anything. We're in LA now, we're not in Texas, so. In Texas, these wouldn't be cool. In LA, they're cool, so, I mean. I don't know, y'all, if I get these, though, I gotta get them now. The chrome on them is dope. They are a size 10 and a half, man. They're a size 10 and a half, so they're exactly my size, and they're not bad of a price either. 260 is not bad for some sneakers. <sighs> these are the new thing, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. All right, so we got some new drops in here, court side kicks. What do we got? We got some purple lobsters in here? Crazy. Crazy. I didn't really know about the purple lobster hype until recently, man. That's crazy. We got green lobsters. Green lobsters? Okay, okay. How much are those going for? 1200 $1,200. Okay, not bad. And then... 1100 1100 okay. And then we, we got some new stuff in here, right? You said one of them was a Dornbecker? Yeah, one of the Dornbecker. Very it's nice. Dornbecker right here. Yeah. Ooh, it's that's clean. fire. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh. What other new drops we got in here? What else? Let's check it out. Drop. All right, what do we got? Um, yep. Uh, Powerpuff Girl, blue one. Dang. Okay, okay. Yeah. Bubbles, I think. I think <laughs> bubbles. Right, right, right. Fire. This wall is always fire, though. I feel like you guys got the best stuff on this wall. Uh, bring it down here. I'm on the mirrors. Okay, okay, the fives. I don't have those yet, actually. These the black fives. Out. They came out only on the website. But oh, Nike, so, so they're super rare. Super rare. Crazy. This but, one dropped on Nike, the white ones. The white ones. Yeah. Which one do you like better, the white or the black? black. The black ones? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Those, look, those look old school for some reason. They look kind of vintage. Retro, yeah, but I mean, yeah. This one, you can't. <laughs> you get matched with everything. I feel it. Yeah. Babe, what do we got on the, what do we got on the, on the front? What is this? Look at this sick one. I know. I, Fire custom or I love something. That one. This is pretty crazy, dude. Look how pretty this is. I know. Did somebody yeah. hand make this? Can you imagine to hand make all those crystals on the shoe? Someone had to. Someone had to, right? That is wild, bro. Super wild. All right, he busted out some heat. Something that nobody has. A lot of people have this one. Shh, man. Yeah. Crazy. Not Hot some, take shoe. Not some regular Asics. Dang. Gallery department ASICs. The crazy hot take ASICs, dude. Honestly, these are crazy. I like them because, I mean, of gallery department, but it's the it, this is a collab shoe for sure, man. It's something different, you know? It's something different for sure. If y'all don't know gallery department, man, it is one of the hottest brands, and it's from LA, actually. And so they did a collab with ASIC. What are these going for right now, dude? Uh, anywhere from like 600 to 1,000. Dang. Depending on the size, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Wait, who has the most pairs out of everybody here? Uh, yeah, course I Hollywood, yeah. Crazy! They got the crazy yeah. hookup. Yo, I'm telling y'all, gallery department. Y'all guys don't believe me, right? But I'm literally wearing it right now on my shirt. But crazy, right crazy here. pair of sneakers. <laughs> wait, wait, how much are those? I think we have them at around 800. 800, Depending but on the size. The, for the exclusiveness, right? Because you guys, I mean, nobody else has them, bro. It's the exclusive I think, take. I think they were less. Than 100 pairs. Damn. Like Less than 100 pairs. For like, yeah, the, I think the public, like the public drop, yeah. Less than 100 pairs for the public drop, bro. And two, that's why. Can you say how many pairs you guys? Uh, Y'all posted it on IG. It's. Right. They got a lot of pairs. Yeah, lot, Out of the hundred, they got a lot of them. Crazy. I, I highly doubt anyone got this many pairs. That's what I'm saying. Crazy. All right, what do we got over here? Marvel bases, right here. Dang, crazy. Yeah. Thor and uh, Captain America. Yes, sir. We got some more right here. Wild. 
Wild. Try breaking in, but we have a boy Mehdi. Dang. I'm scared of the world. What? You had to fight somebody off, bro? Yeah, one, two, yeah. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Dang. Y'all have all of them? All of them, bro. I've never seen anybody with all of them. So, Babe came out with the collection, and they did for the Avengers, and they did all the Avengers, but I've never seen somebody have all of the shoes. They literally have the whole collection. That's crazy. Fire, dude. That's fire. Boys, you guys know I'm daily, so subscribe if you're not already. Like the video, but let me know if I should rock these or not. I'm going to go by the comments down below. So if you guys say to rock them, I'm going to come back tomorrow and buy them. Let me know if I should buy the Noctas or not, the Drake sneakers. Let me know, guys. Yes or no. Comment down below, and I'll buy them. All right, y'all. That was the Hollywood sneaker stores in L.A. Let me know where you guys want me to go next, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Homies, we're out of here.